Let's solve the following ODE. Y double prime minus 4Y prime plus 4Y equals 6E to the power of 2T plus 8T. Okay, first up, let's work on the homogeneous part of it, where we're going to take this, put it equal to 0, and then we're going to write up our characteristic equation. So, r squared minus 4r plus 4 equals 0. Now, from here, we can factor, we can find r minus 2 on the square equals 0, and this will give us two roots, r1 and 2, which both are equal to 2. Now, this is the situation where we have two real roots, right? There's three scenarios. We have real roots that are distinct, real roots that are the same, and we have complex roots. This one is when we have two the same and they are real. So, our homogeneous solution, we can write it up from this. yh equals c1 e to the power of 2t, the 2 comes right here, then plus c2 t e to the 2t. The second 2 comes right here, but since then this part would be exactly the same as this one, we need to remember to include a t right here. Okay, that's how we got that part. This is our homogeneous solution. Now, let's work on the particular solution. To find that, I'm going to use the undetermined coefficient method. Okay, that one calls us that we need to guess a solution for whatever we have on this side. We will have to guess a solution for this term and then work on guessing a solution for this term. Most textbook will the most textbooks will give you a nice uh, table or some kind of formulas where they will guide you what do you have to guess in order to continue with this method. Here you can see if we have a polynomial on this side, we need to guess this. If we have polynomial mixed with exponential, then we work with this one. If we have polynomial, exponential and sinusoid mixed, then we guess this one. Now, for us, we have, um, well, um, this and this, we're not going to consider it one, okay? We will have to work separately with this one and separately with this one. So, for this part, we have an exponential, therefore, we're going to be guessing this right here. Now, then, once we completed this one, we're going to practically start all over and do a guess for only this part. And that is a polynomial, so we will be guessing this right here. Here it is, a bit closer, so you guys can see it better. But I'm sure you guys can find it in your own textbook as well. Now, like I said, we're going to take each of these one at a time. So, this one is up first. Let's work on that one. I'm going to call that g of t1 equals 6 e to the 2t. Now, from the table, I'm going to go ahead and guess this for my solution for this term, which is 8 times e to the 2t. Now, this would be all nice and good, but we need to make sure that this will not repeat from whatever we found up here in the homogeneous equation. And if we take a look at it, we have a constant times e to the 2t. Now, we verify what we have in the homogeneous one, and we see right here, constant times e to the 2t. It's the same. So that means we will have to multiply this by a t. And that is right here. So my new y1 equals a t e to the 2t. Now, again, this would be all nice, but again, we need to compare again. This now looks exactly like this one. So we didn't really get, get out of the woods yet. Okay. But but we don't get to don't need to get scared. All that means is we need to add another t. So now we have y1 equals a t to the squared 
E2T. Okay, so finally we got to a form which is not repeating from here. So that's all you have to remember. Don't get scared. If it repeats, just keep adding T's till you finally got to something that is new. So for my this, for this term, my official guess, not this, not this, but this. This is my official guess. So we will have to plug our guess back into our ODE. But in order to do that, we have Y here, right? That goes here. But we also need Y prime for this term. And we're going to need Y double prime for this term. So that's what we're going to do next. Take two derivatives of this. Here's the first derivative, Y1 prime. This is the product rule of these two. Here's a quick reminder if you forgot how it looks. And there it is. We finally get e to the power of 2t times 2at squared plus 2at. Next step, another derivative of this guy right here. And after a long process, we're able to find e to the 2t times this parentheses, which is 4at squared plus 8at plus 2a. Next step, we have to go and plug back into our ODE. Instead of y double prime, we plug what we found right here, minus 4y prime, that is what we found right here, plus 4 y, make sure you plug in your official guess right here, and equals to 6. e to the 2t. Simplify all the e to the 2t's out, because every single term has it, left and right hand side, so we can simply cancel it. We're going to get this. We can collect like terms and cancel out stuff again. And we're able to see that 2a equals 6. From here, a equals 3. For this, we have our first particular solution, which is 3t squared e to the 2t. All I did, take a and plug it back into my uh, official guess. And there it is. Now, we are done with one of the terms. Now we have to work on the other term, the 8t. I'm going to call it gt2 equals 8t, the second term that we have on the right-hand side of the equation. Now I have to guess something for this one. From the same table, like i shown, now we're working with only a polynomial. Therefore, this will be my guess. y2 equals bt plus d. I could have picked c over here just to have the letters nice and uh, in order, but I'm using C already in the homogeneous solution, right? C1 and C2. So just to don't make some up, let's skip it and go with D. So my official guess for this term, BT plus D. Same thing, we need to take first and second derivative for it. Once we did that, we can go plug it back into our original ODE. For Y double prime, right here, a big fat zero minus 4y prime, that is a b, plus 4y, which is bt plus d, and on the right hand side, we are working only with this term, so 8t. Clean it up, cancel and collect terms, and we are able to find that b is equal to 2, and d is equal to 2 as well. Now, we're going to come back to our official guess for this term, plug these two in and we're able to find that our second particular solution is 2t plus 2. For the final write-up of our solution we know that y is equal to the homogeneous plus the particular solutions. Now our homogeneous solution we have but our particular solution we have two pieces of it right we, y1 and y2 make sure we don't forget either of them and simply combine them and our final solution for this ODE c1 e to the 2t plus c2t 
e to the 2t plus 3t squared e to the 2t plus 2t plus 2. And that would be our final solution for this ODE. All right, thank you for watching. Please like the video so other people can find it as well. And have a great day.